Hello, this is Mentwin Gaming and Fanic. Let's go to Botanical Gardens. So this is actually Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments and this case is all about plants and flowers and bees and the garden. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the garden. Hugh Gardens. Well Holmes, here we are at the Royal Botanic Gardens. There's no doubt that this place is beautiful. But are you really intent on investigating the theft of the plants? Yes, of course. Oh, so we are starting already. Okay. Don't touch anything else. Is that clear? Just go and get a bucket of fertilizer. And without turning it over this time. Good day to you, gentlemen. How may I help you? If you are here for a visit, please do come back on Sunday. I am afraid that it cannot wait. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my friend and colleague, Dr. Watson. We are investigating the theft of plants that took place here five days ago. A remarkable collection, I believe. So you're the one in charge, eh? A small favor for a friend. Now to whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? I am Martin Hamish. I am the deputy director of Kew Gardens. And that fellow yonder is Albert. He works here. I am delighted to meet you. What can you tell us about the plants? They were rare and exceptional plants. We presented them at our last exhibition. We haven't removed the stand yet. It is still in the large glass house. We only learned of their disappearance the evening after the exhibition, and nobody saw anything. No doors were forced? No, but I would imagine that for a thief it would be fairly easy to gain entry, for there are no guards here. Well, if you don't mind, we will take a look. Now, you say that it is in the large glass house. Yes, the one just behind me. Just a second, since Albert has nothing else to do. Albert, show these gentlemen where the exhibition was held. How many people work here? Only myself, but occasionally two students, Albert, whom you have met, and Miss White. Here it is. This is the place where the stolen plants were exhibited. Thank you. Is there something the matter? Yes, there is. All right, the plants were valuable and rare, but it seems to me that the tragedy that took place here only two days ago has been entirely forgotten already. What tragedy are you referring to? My... the director of Kew Gardens, Mr. Montague Dunn, he died here just two days ago. We're very sorry. We were not aware. The two of you were good friends? He... he was my father. Oh dear, our condolences. We should not be troubling you. Please do excuse us for the intrusion. You say that he died here, in the large glass house. Holmes? Yes, just here, near the door to the colonial collection. He suffered a heart attack, just like that, so suddenly. It was terrible. Excuse me, gentlemen, but I cannot remain here. If you need me, I'll be in the reserve. That's the room next to the front of the large greenhouse. Of course, we understand. Exhibition booth. Examine. Do not touch. The plants were here. All of them were stolen. Yeah, I see that there is nothing here with this. Just something overturned. Do not touch. Why Watson is saying that instead of Sherlock? Plants list. Here is a list of the stolen plants. Did you wrote them down or... Okay. Search archives. A list of exotic stolen plants ex exhibited at Kew Gardens. Dionea carnivorous. This is uh, something that... Uh, it's insects, I think. Carlina inebriare florem diabolica. Hmm. Promo liana odorata prunus serotina heliamphorus tepuis biblis Genlisevio, I don't know, <laughs> Darlingtonia, Rakocas, Cephalotus. I didn't learn Latin, so I don't know how to pronounce these plants. I just, I have no idea. What about these plants? Are they of any interest? What's this? Sherlock is not interested in anything. According to Albert, this is where his father, Montague Dunn, was found dead. Okay. Footprints. Thin black tracks. The traces are thinner in some places. Large black tracks. These boot marks are fresh. 
It appears as though someone was dragging their feet. The footprints reveal that someone staggered here. Broken this sign. This sign is broken. Something heavy was dropped upon it. Blood. Blood. Someone fell violently against this sign and they were injured in the clash. Most likely a head wound. Fragments. Broken Fragments pot. of a flower pot. It fell down here. Dirt. Soil. It should have come from a flower pot. Suppose so? The soil on the side of this flower shelf is the same as that on the ground. Broken pot. This pot was broken fairly recently. A flower pot recently fell down from these shelves and was misplaced. Okay. Mm then we have a door. Damaged panel. The door was smashed at shoulder height. Handle? This door handle is new. It was recently changed. Broken esconson. The esconson was breached near the handle. The door was forced from the inside of the colonial collection room. The handle was changed afterwards. I think we need to inspect the colonial collection room. All the clues around here are quite suspicious. I need my imagination to make sense of it all. Maybe should, I should first examine this room? No? I don't know. Very strange. Half of the colonial collection is absent. So they were stolen too? Colonial colonial room parameters According examined. According to this, they have light and moisture control in some parts of the building. What's this? And what's this? Detergent. The smell is strong. It is... A detergent. Stone chip. Breaking point? This broken fragment was the result of a heavy blow. Stone chip? A fragment chip? of marble, most likely chipped from a statue or sculpture. Well, then we need to find a sculpture. Oh, window panels. These windows were perfectly cleaned. Part of this greenhouse was emptied and thoroughly cleaned. Interesting. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful plants. These plants come from all the territories of the British Empire. Okay, well now I need to imagine breaking the door. That would be the first one, right? Breaking the door, the first one, okay. Well, we broke the door, then what? Knocking over the pot? Then falling on the fence? Well, that makes sense, at least to me. Right? This reconstruction reveals a disturbing fact. Montague Dunn damaged the door of the colonial collection room. He was in a panic, or the door was locked. Was it an accident, or a murder then, I wonder? Interesting, so, uh, I don't know. This door, what is this? Water lily greenhouse. Water lily greenhouse. Dry tropics. I don't think we can go in there yet. Oh, we can. Okay, but I don't want to yet. I want to talk to Albert first. Albert should be here in this room. Farmhouse parameters. According to this, they have light and moisture. So this is the pump house. Wait, but where is the boy? Is there another door that I'm uh, missing? No. There is no door in this room, right? No. Mm, I don't know. Let's go then. This door? What was this again? This was uh, dry tropics. Okay. Anything interesting here? Or it's just um, decorative aesthetic scene.
Watson, go away! Okay, and we are out over here. What about Palm House? Watson, can you move? Why are you always interfering with my walking? And this is the tropics. Well, nothing interesting here either, and I think that this is the exit again. No, oh, what? Can I help you, gentlemen? Hmm. So I found the boy. Hi, can I talk to you? Well, we do know that he works here, so what? what's with this question? Ay, Sherlock, Sherlock. Red eyes wept recently, consumed by grief. Shaving cut. Clean hands. Do you work here? Hmm. Uh, do you work here? Yes, but part-time only. For I'm also studying botany at the University of London. You're following in your father's footsteps, then that is commendable. Well, even if botany is not my strongest suit, there are people who say that I could be a good manager. Thank you, young man. We shall see you again soon. Well, that conversation didn't give us much information. And this is the exit again, right? Yes, but from the other side. This is beautiful. Like if it was real life, I would have just ruined all the flowers. So I shouldn't be doing this. Dan was trapped. Montag Dan was trapped in the colonial collection room. He forced the door and died in the water lily green house. Emptied colonial collection. Someone cleaned and emptied out only a part of the colonial collection. Actually, yes, the only part, only the left part. This is suspicious. Perhaps it was intended to conceal certain evidence. Can we match them together? Yes. Perform autopsy. Perform an autopsy on Montag Dan. The death is suspicious. Why had he forced the door of the colonial collection room? Why had someone cleaned em em and emptied the room? Was it a trap or a simple accident? To perform an autopsy, I think that we need to go to Scotland Yard or is there a different place to perform autopsy? Anything interesting around uh, here? What is this door? Locked. We don't know. What's on? You should stop it. Honestly, what's wrong with you? Where well, this door leads? This door leads to... Where is it, actually? Oh, nice! There is a map! Thank you, because I'm already lost, you know? Colonial collection. Okay. Where am I right now? You are here. Seed house, ventilation system, nursery, office house, palm house, water lily green house, dry tropics. What's on? What's wrong with you? What's this? This is nursery. Locked. Oh, nursery is locked. Okay. This is a seed house. Locked. Seed house is locked again. Okay. What's on? I will leave you at home at next next time. This is impossible. There is a smell of burning. Really? Where? Where is it? I probably should run. Wait a minute. Where am I now? All oh, right. I'm just behind the ventilation system. So that's prob that's probably the ventilation system that is burning or. I don't know. Can I punch you, please? Go away! Fireplace. Broken pot. Broken pot. Is it the, the one that we found a piece of? The symbol is not from Kew Gardens. Okay, anything else here? Burn broom. A broom handle was half burned. A piece of plant. The plants were set alight fairly recently. Some have not completely burned. How could they? 
Lots of friends. Picture frame. The remains of a picture frame. Interesting. Anything else? There should be something else. Door, door handle. handle. Why would anyone throw such a thing in the fire? The door handle to the colonial collection and that of the fireplace are made of the same material. Gas mask. A protective mask. Someone set it alight, but it did not burn. Any conclusions, Sherlock? This place is so peaceful, so nice. It would have been so awesome to just relax peacefully here. Not investigating murders. What is this place? Ventilation system engine. A ventilation system. It should regulate the temperature of the staff buildings. Oh, this is an object of interest. Okay, so I will get back to it later. Um, water tank. A water tank. I cannot go inside the seed house. Watson, you're very annoying today. What was this? Oh, this is where dry tropics are. And this door was... Uh, Oh, no, again, no, sorry, and I cannot go inside. And this is the office building that I cannot enter in either. Mm. Locked. I don't know. Let's talk to this guy. Martin Hamish. Myopic and expensive glasses. They are inexpensive? They look fancy to me, but I don't know nothing about um, glasses in that time. Dirty color, dirty everything else too. And the gardener's hands, alright. And um, what else? Unmarried. Dunn's death. Albert told us about the tragic death of Mr. Dunn, the late director of Kew Gardens. Tragic indeed. His heart attack was quite unexpected. Door keys? Would you unlock the doors for us? Do you expect to find the stolen plants there? I am sorry, but those rooms are private. Thank you, Mr. Hamish. We shall continue our investigation. Which rooms? Wh which rooms did you, did you ask the keys to? To this office? Locked. Or to the nursery? Or to the seed house? So why are you not walking? What is going on today? Everything is stuck today. First, here comes Nico, now Sherlock. Okay, Albert Dunn. Albert Dunn is a nervous and anxious young man, clearly, clearly evident by his beaten fingernails. He uses a quantity of detergent with which to clean his um, hands, which is a poor decision seen as he handles plants and soil. His eyes are red. He has been weeping very recently. His age tells us that he is still at university. He is good-looking, unmarried, and probably still lives with his mother. And uh, Martin Hamish. Martin Hamish is unmarried. His hands and nails resemble those of a gardener. They are dirty and swollen. He is short-sighted, wearing bifocals to correct his vision. He is very plain. He works hard to the point of neglecting his appearance. And it is sadly unlikely that he has any female companion. He lives alone. I don't like how female companions are treated like maids. Okay, let's go to probably Scotland Yard first. I asked Inspector Lestrade to take Montague Dunn's body to Scotland Yard. It's ready for autopsy then. There is something. Dunn's belongings. Letter. To Mr. F. Wayne, director of Wayne and Sons Printing Company, my friend, your posters for the great exhibition at Kew Gardens are very beautiful. 
but it is surely unnecessary to mention all of this stuff. My name alone will be sufficient. Huh? I don't like this approach. Club card. A membership card for the London Crest Club. Pen. A beautiful feather pen of a good make. This watch, watch is of great value. Let's see. First of all, let us carry out an external examination. Let's do that. There are no suspicious marks upon the chest. Let us finish our external examination so that we can proceed with the autopsy. Left arm. Skin. Nothing suspicious here. Right arm. No redness, stings or bruises. Okay, so I don't think that that was he who had forced the door. I don't know. I don't, like, he should have had some bruises or something at least. If he was the one that who, who forced the door open from the colonial uh, room. Right? Face. Forehead. Well, uh, he... There is an injury to the skull, most probably caused by the fall in the water lily greenhouse. The vessels and the pupil of the eye appear quite normal. So, he did fall, but, but it's not necessarily that he had forced open those the, the, the door. I'm confused here. The air from the lungs carries a faint floral aroma. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, let us examine the internal organs. Heart. The heart's blood vessels show no pathological signs. So that's unlikely that it's a heart attack, right? The heart tissue shows no visible pathological signs. Lungs. The floral something. The lungs are congested and edematous. What, what does it mean? I said congested, but the I understand... The lungs are congested and edematous. Edematous. I don't know what that is. Edematous. A tissue with an excess of interstitial fluid. Fluid filled. Okay, so I think that... I think that he was drowned. Damaged area. The tissue on the inferior lobe of the right lung is damaged. Most probably caused by toxins from an unknown plant. Interesting. Liver? The liver is enlarged. It would seem that he was suffering from an alcohol addiction. The liver tissue is brown. There are no visible pathological signs. And the stomach? The stomach tissues show no visible pathological signs. What about its, its content? Can we examine that? There is a small amount of content. It appears that he breakfasted lightly, only a short while before his death. My suspicions have been substantiated. Montague Dunn, the director of Kew Gardens, died from poisoning. Plant poisoning, to be more exact. You mean... Yes, it is murder. We should inform Lestrade. Yes, but do remember, Watson, that I discovered the murder. The challenge is mine. The challenge, Holmes? We need to locate that deadly plant. Such a perfect murder appeals to me. Murder of any kind appeals to you. Is that all we need to do? No. We also have the people working at Kew Gardens. Martin Hamish and the son of the victim, Albert Dunn. And also Miss White, of whom we spoke with Mr. Hamish. Should we bring them all here for interrogation? No. A few innocuous questions at Kew will suffice, as well as a discreet delve into their personal affairs. Yes, Watson, it is time now to open the doors. Even those in the staff building? I suppose that is necessary. We should also be concerned with the victim himself. After all, we don't know very much about Montague Dunn. You're enjoying this already, aren't you? <laughs> More than a little. Well, to be fair, I enjoy this stuff too, so... Marble fragment picked up from the floor of the colonial collection room 
Judging by its form and refinement, it is probably a part of a statue or sculpture door. The reconstruction of Montague Dunn's death reveals a disturbing fact. He splintered the door of the colonial collection room. He was uh, either consumed by panic or the door had been locked. If it was the latter, his death may have been a premeditated murder. But uh, I don't get it. Like if his hands, if his arms were not bruised or anything, like if he would have tried to force open the door, he would have bruises on his arms. No, I think he would. Okay, let's go. Let's go home and um, search the archive. Oh, letters. Dear Mr. Holmes, I have finally a Lady Breckenstall's confession. Dear Mr. Holmes, I have finally found the courage to write you later. I can scarcely find the words to express my gratitude for your kindness. On that terrible day I believed my life to be ruined, but at the same time I realized there there to be one person in the world who truly loved me and who I loved in return. His name we both know, he is Captain Jack Rocker. His love has given me true reason to live. Even if we cannot be together in the end, none of this could have happened without you, Mr. Holmes. Why they cannot be together? They should be able to be together. Research. Search rare plants. Botany. Chemistry. Poison. Wounds. Wounds. Criminalistics. Martial arts. Marks and symbols. Well, where is botany? Oh, maybe here in poisons and toxins. Hemlock seeds? That is not the one I need. I don't know what you want me to find. Well, definitely not wounds, right? Not martial arts. Marks and symbols, not may maybe research, newspapers. What else do I have? Oh, encyclopedias. Okay, that's probably here. Botany. Exotic plants. Volume 4. Poisonous. These plants have a certain toxicity in common. More or less uh, variable. I am going to say all them again because I'm like 100% sure that I don't do it right. So only the first three can be dangerous to humans, particularly flora diabolica, but only under very specific conditions. The plant should react to a process of aggression against which it will issue deadly spores. Awesome, what about the other two? You're not going to talk about it, okay. I research uh, the symbol of the broken pot. Chemistry, poison, wounds, criminalistics, martial arts, marks and symbols. Uh, London garden supplies. That is not the one I need. Um, oh, the divine syndicate, right? The divine uh, scholastic syndicate for vegetation veneration. The members of the syndicate worship Throwen, the God King. They strive to obtain spiritual peace and release themselves from the material world. So general donations are appreciated. Ah, huh? is this like a? I don't want to say that it's loud, so I'm not going to say. Here it, it is. The Divine Syndicate is not a supplier to Kew Gardens. Besides, there is no address here. Uh huh. So what? What uh, do you want me to do? Do I have to analyze anything? No. So what I do is that I explore the clues that I have. Deadly plants stolen and poisoning. They match together and um, theft and murder. The killers may be those who stole the exotic plants, including the deadly spe species, from the last exhibition at Kew Gardens. I think that this is the on that this only uh, one option, and uh, we will see more options. Uh, poison and uh, Dan was trapped. Yes, that they, they match together. Dan was poisoned after being trapped in the colonial collection room by the killer. Montague Dan was affected by inhaling a virulent, vi vir virulent. Vegetal poison. It's actually virulent. 
vegetal poison, if I am to believe Google. I think that Google knows better than I, to be honest, so... True one, the good king is the divine syndicate's idol. I think it looks awesome. I want this kind of um, statue in real life, in my real life to see one. The following three plants were proven lethal to humans, uh, Dionea carnivorus, Carlina inebriare and Florum diabolica. The realization of the toxic process is fairly difficult for it requires a particular chemical fertilizer, natural stimulation and nutrition. The caterpillar should work. Caterpillars? Ah, uh, I'm, I'm lost here. Okay, let's go in and, ed and inspect your garden stuff building. I don't think that those people who work there will be too happy about that. Why is it taking so long? Just today I found out that the developer is actually from Kiev, from Ukraine, so... I'm Right now, I'm, I'm even more proud of how this game looks. Because I absolutely love this. So, um... Kew Garden, Royal Botanic Society, Director's Office, and let's go in. Locked. What do you mean locked? We can... Oh, I should ask for permission, probably Martin Hamish. Oh, I have a lot of things to discuss with you. Mm, let's talk about the keys first. Mr. Hamish. Can you tell us who holds the keys to the locked greenhouses? That would be Albert, Mr. Dunn's son. Yes, Albert keeps all the keys, and one can only imagine why. What do you mean? Well, he was never interested in Kew Gardens before. And now, all of a sudden, he is trying to act as if he owns the place. I think he wants to take over the management here. <laughs> He'd do better to leave that to me. He has no experience. No, none at all. Empty at Colonial Room. Mr. Hamish. Can you explain to us what happened to the colonial collection? It seems somewhat depleted. But, uh, oh, most likely maintenance work, tidying up. You're not sure, then? But you're the deputy director. Well, I am busy. I cannot be everywhere at once. So I think that Albert will do better than you? He probably would know. Relationship with Don. As deputy director, how was your relationship with Montague Dunn? To be honest with you, Mr. Holmes, it could have been better. You see, every Tuesday he would carry out his inspection of the gardens, but it was solely to make an impression, a great pretense that he cared at all. He would give out absurd orders, ignoring anyone else's opinion. He would then disappear for the rest of the week. He was what some might call a man of action. I'd say rather he was overzealous and chaotic. So after all, it was no wonder, perhaps, that he ended up like that if you take into consideration his kind of lifestyle. So what about his lifestyle? You mentioned that Mr. Dunn led a particular lifestyle. Well, it's no secret that he enjoyed uh, celebrating, shall we say. He was a member of the London Smart Set. He was famous for it. That and... And... He had an eye for the ladies, to put it mildly, Mr. Holmes. I hope that ladies had an eye for him too. Otherwise, that wouldn't be good. All right, and we have Miss White here in these gardens. We haven't met her yet. Maybe there is a connection. Albert Don. What is your opinion of Albert as a student of botany? He's useless. I often tell him so, and I can only give him cleaning tasks. Botany is not his life's work, and his father well knew it. He was furious about it. He was? Oh, yes. He forced his son to work here. And he never missed an opportunity to criticize him publicly. Are you able to elaborate on that? Well, for example, with our last exhibition here, Mr. Dunn had Albert make a presentation speech. But then, while the lad was speaking, Mr. Dunn interrupted him, asking him difficult questions, making him look like a failure. It was with the intention of making a fool of him, Mr. Holmes. That must have been terribly humiliating. Yes, he was crushed and he had to leave. Everybody was making fun of poor Albert. That is, except for Miss Margaret White, who is such a nice lady and who always takes pity on Albert. We need to talk to her, Margaret White. You mentioned a Miss White. Would you tell us more about her? She is a student who works here part-time. She is quite charming indeed. She possesses a great talent for botany. 
You should take a look at some of her experiments that she carried out in the laboratory. Ah, if only she were not so naive. Why naive? The way she used to flutter around Mr. Montague Dunn. And he, why, he couldn't help but be flattered by all her attention. How could an intelligent woman such as Miss White not see through his game? I can only scratch my head and wonder. I have no idea. I never understood this. Lethal plants. Now tell me, Mr. Hamish, do you grow the more deadly variety of plant here? You mean insectivorous? Yes, but nothing larger than that. Huh? What about uh, those... Well, maybe they are not intentionally uh, lethal for humans. Well, the opposite way, that they are intentionally can be lethal for humans only if used, if uh, it's int int intended. <laughs> the Divine Syndicate. Are you aware of the Divine Syndicate? The Divine what? Is this a joke? No, uh -huh. I am quite serious. What a ridiculous name. Anyway, I have never heard of this syndicate. Thank you, Mr. Hamish. We shall continue our investigation. Thank you, Mr. Hamish, indeed. Where can I find the young Albert? I think that I will definitely... Oh, here, here he is. Uh, door keys. Can you give me the keys, please? Do you hold the keys to all of these locked doors? Yes, you can have them. But I cannot give you the keys to the cloakroom. The employee's effects are private. I am sure you understand. Mm, I think that we will have to lockpick that door. Miss White? Who is Miss Margaret White? Ah, she is the young lady who studies with me. She visits here sometimes to help out with the greenhouses. In fact, she should be here today. She wanted to work at the seed house. That's the small greenhouse across from the large glass house. So why is she not here? Uh, colonial collection emptied? We noticed that a part of the colonial collection has been cleared. Ah, at the moment I'm just dealing with the storage room. I don't know much about the other rooms. Relationship with your father? I imagine that your relationship with your father may have been a strained one. Yes. I cannot say that he was a kind man, for he never listened to me at all. He forced me to work here. But now, after his death, I've been pondering it over. Perhaps he wasn't so wrong about me after all. I have to follow his path, and I have to manage Kew Gardens, and I can do it. I can be as good as any other who works here. What about Martin Hamish? Would you please tell us about Martin Hamish, the deputy director? Well, I have to tell you that Mr. Hamish is not and has never been the deputy director of Kew Gardens. Oh, really? My father would not have tolerated it. Indeed? Well, that is most interesting. He told us that he was. Yes, because he believes that the management should be passed down to him now that my father is dead. But in actual fact, Mr. Hamish only has the honour of being the garden's longest-serving employee. In fact, if we are to think logically at all, it should be me who takes over the management of Kew Gardens. Do you not have a good relationship with Mr. Hamish? I suppose so. But we have very little in common. Mr. Hamish loves his plants and Kew Gardens, and I cannot say that I share his passion. I see. And how was his relationship with your father? Oh, he hated my father. It was obvious. He would be furious whenever my father boasted of Kew Gardens in the newspapers or at conferences. He was convinced that my father was stealing all of the credit for himself. But my father treated Mr. Hamish in the same way as he treated anyone. Dismissively. With indifference. We have kind of a sad situation here. The Divine Syndicate... Tell me. Have you ever heard of the Divine Syndicate? No, I cannot say that I have. Thank you, young man. We shall see you again soon. So, who's lying? But I can now go and open the doors. Let's start with this building first. Use office key. Oh, this is such a small room. Wait, is that... No, that not, that's, that's not a door. This is a mirror. Why is it covered? Because of the dead person? Director's safe. Uh, how do I open it? Rotate left. Rotate right. Awesome. Well, this is fun. And I have no idea how to unlock it. 
What do I do next with it? Rotate, rotate uh, right now? Oh, so I need to kind of erase this uh, buttons all up, I, I guess, so hmm. two to the left, uh, two to the right, okay, two to the left and two to the right, and then I continue going to the left again, two to the left, no, this probably was three to the left. Uh, I can't say that I like this way of unlocking save, but um, okay. Three, four? No, just three. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. I hope that it's one, two, three again. One, two, three. And now I hope that it will be four. One, two, three, four. Yes, it was four. No! It was probably five. Mm. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. Let's examine what's inside. Well, we have some letter there. My dear friend, please allow me to express my disappointment upon reading your last letter. I am paying you to defend me, not to accuse me. Kew Gardens is a royal institution. We are granted the great opportunity to travel the world and to save the most extraordinary, precious and rare species of plant. Our duty is to protect such species and from those who might wish to use them for dubious purpose. This divine syndicate of whom you speak have no right to hold such precious plants. Remember the case of June 14th 1889, so I must respectfully ask you, once again, to notarize the permission on these plans on behalf of Kew Gardens. So, who was this? Oh, the documents were sent to you on Monday. See you in Boodles on Tuesday, as always, Montague Don. Uh-huh. I don't know what conclusions I can make, but that's good to know that at least someone knew about this divine syndicate. Another letter. Letter of complaint. Mr. Dunn, we must ask you... Oh, this is the Divine Syndicate. I just realized that this is Chinese uh, symbol, uh, symbols, um, hieroglyphs. For the last time, for the return of our dear sisters? You do not have any right to hold them imprisoned. They do not belong to you. Your so-called permissions are wholly false. I think they are talking about plants. You're hiding behind lies. The lie? We need to... We need... We need not elaborate. That was reported in the press as the case of June 14th, 1889. What you have done is quite abhorrent, but very sure that we shall never abandon our family members. We trusted you and regret having done so. The Divine Syndicate. And the third letter and nothing else here, huh? Okay. No money. I suggest that we don't tell Miss Margaret White about this document. Debt of uh, Miss Margaret White to Mr. Montague Dunn. Rental of a suite of rooms at Oxford Street. The educational scholarship at the London University. Credits opened at Hamilton. Redigan House Tailors and at Bairds and Sons Luxury Jewelers. Uh, I'm not quite sure what to make of it. But Sherlock doesn't want to tell her about this, so... Um, is this Montague done? Would be... Champagne. Champagne? Montague Dunn had good taste. Wine? French wine. A remarkable vintage. Some books. Photograph. A photograph of Montague Dunn and Reynold Hamish. How could you recognize them together? I couldn't recognize a, a, even one of those. Director's desk. Newspapers. Newspapers discussing Kew Gardens. Times. The Times. New plant species. The Kew Gardens team are pleased to announce the successful production of a new variety of barley, one that retains a complete resistance to the cold. 
They have named it the Siberian barley. Uh, Mr. Martin Hamish, the proud cultivator of the craft, will hold a press conference next Monday morning upon this very subject. Another letter. My dearest Margaret, following our last conversation, I believe it might be better if you vacate your position here at Kew Gardens? Ha! Huh. As you pointed out quite bluntly, you are not longer in need of my support, you are quite able to stand up for yourself in this world, as you say. Well, I give you back your freedom and wish you nothing but good luck. Montague Dunn. Uh, um, I will keep my thoughts to myself, because I haven't met her yet, so everything that I think might be completely wrong. Poisoning. White's expulsion. Deadly plan stolen. I, could, I thought that uh, they, that could be connection. Uh, White and Dunn. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Miss White and Mr. Dunn had a recent disagreement. Montague Dunn was planning to release Miss White from her position at Kew Gardens. What else? Albert's ambition. Does it connect to anything? White and Dawn. Does it connect to deadly plant stolen? No. Poisoning? No. Deadly plant stolen, poisoning don't connect either, so nothing connects here. Okay. I think that we are finished with this uh, office. Unless I'm missing something very obvious. Which could happen. Fragment from statue, find the use. Uh, keys uh, for Q's garden find the use and uh, I need to search archives about a case um, over June 14th 1889 first I want to open each door and every door that I can find here this is um, I don't know what this is let's use office key I can use T. Oh. <laughs> Scary! Protective equipment. Empty place. It appears as though the protective equipment is missing from here. Protective cloth. Gloves, waterproof aprons. Everything one might need for self-protection. Do they grow dangerous plants here? Yes, Watson. We are investigating this. Where have you been all this time? What am I missing here? Oh, mask. Such masks are generally worn when dealing with toxic chemicals. Locked. Oh, Cold. this is the Albert cloak didn't give us the key to this door. It does not matter. We will open it. Of course we will open it. Ah, I didn't realize that this thing does, does it. So it could be... Aha! Oh! This is interesting. I never... S I, I, I didn't um, unlock this type of lock yet in this game. So it's fun. But I think that... Um, oh! Open. Awesome Sherlock. Let's see. Martin Hamish's locker. Martin Hamish's locker. Green thumb. A review on rare and exotic plants. Martin Hamish has written several pieces. A letter from Martin Hamish. Mr. General Secretary, recent events unfolding at Kew Gardens oblige me to renew my application for the management position. As I have stated already in my previous letters, I believe that no one is better suited for this for the post. While Mr. Montague Dunn was alive, I understood your reservation to my position. Your reasons were political and I and so I was happy to comply. But now the Kew Gardens lie in disorder. How can I stand by and allow it? How can I leave them in the hands of inexperienced people with no motivation? I must urge you to cast your decision as a matter of urgency so that I may devote myself entirely to the noble task ahead and free my mind from this uncertainty. 
So he really wanted to take the management position. Chemistry Martin picks. Hamish studied chemistry. Interesting. Uh, a photo. Someone with someone. Father and I. Father and I. Kew Gardens. What? Oh, we are done with Martin Hamish's locker. Okay. Albert's locker. Albert's locker. A sheep. Refusal letter. A rejection letter from the British Royal Naval College. Oh, he wanted to be a sailor. Sir, it is my regret to inform you that despite your excellent results within our entry examination, we are unable to invite you into the Royal Navy School. Your father, Mr. Montague Dunn, has expressed his intention to entrust to you the directorship of the Royal Botanic Gardens in Kew. And it is clear that he would not release you for an entire year of naval training. Please accept all our best wishes for your future at Kew Gardens. Oh, this is sad. I think that he wanted to be a sailor or captain or something like that. Something to do with the ships and all that. Specialist um. articles on shipyards and ship construction. Albert Dunn has a great passion for shipbuilding and the sea. He wanted to build ships and instead he's stuck in the... In the land, in the gardens, there is a secret hidden here, photograph. Young Albert, standing with a woman in front of London University. Who is she? We're not going to find that out, I guess. And, um, Miss White's locker. Miss White's locker. White's request? A draft of the letter that Miss White sent to her parents. Why is he saying it so kind of not why, but white, white? Mm. Dear mother and father, I am writing this letter with reluctance to ask for your help. My studies and my housing costs have proven to be more expensive than I had anticipated. I fear, therefore, that I may not be able to manage in the long term. I know that we had... Um, that we have had our disagreements in the past, but would you be so heartless as to allow your daughter to fail your studies due to lack of money? Hmm. Diploma? Apparently, Miss White is a capable student. Isn't it awesome? Jewel books. There are some jewels. These jewels must be worth a small fortune. Another letter? Dear Margaret, I know how your financial troubles and are overwhelming you at this present time. Please let me reassure you that I could not permit you to remain in such dilemma. I was born of a wealthy family. I would consider it an honor if you might accept my help. Your devoted servant Albert. I think that Albert was in love, maybe? Maybe he just wanted to be friends. Vanity purse. A vanity purse. It is of high quality. What's inside? Another letter. Margaret, we were surprised to receive your letter. How could you, uh, how could you think to ask us for money after all of these years that have passed since you left? And without any thought of us. You have never shared with us any detail of your success at the university, but you choose to do so now. Oh, that sucks. We suppose you must be ashamed of us, for we are not from the same high class as your new friends. Yes, we are modest people, but you should learn to put your family first, as we at home have always done. And none of us ever compromised their reputation, as it appears you have already with your employer, Mr. Dunn. No, Margaret, it is you who makes us feel ashamed. <sighs> okay, let's see what um, I have to discover in this room. There is something to be discovered. Oh, wet bottle trays. There was a bottle here. It left behind a trace of the substance that pervaded the laboratory. Pervaded? What's this? Gold dust? Gold dust? Good heavens. What's it doing here? The gold is almost immune to chemical attacks, so it may be a valuable auxiliary for various experiments. But why would anyone perform such experiments in a botanical garden? 
Several drops of the substance were spilled. Someone carried this bottle around. We're going to follow these drops. Several drops of the substance were spilled. Someone carried this bottle around. The bottle is no longer here, but it is possible to detect a faint scent. We need a good nose. You mean Toby? University book. University of Cambridge Botanical Section. A botany book. Can I open it? Alberton. This student's book belongs to Albert. Repeat here, I think it was written there. Chemistry cupboard. Chemistry Chemicals. Bottles. A sufficient quantity for some serious experiments. I see. Phonograph. A phonograph used for voice recording. Remarkable. Yes, this is quite a modern laboratory. Isn't that amazing? Cylinder. Oh, this is to use with the phonograph. Does it seem clear from these multiple experiments that plants to respond to their environment and have a form of consciousness? Margaret White, February 1895. Report number 245. Study report. And another one? Martin Hamish's perception of plants. The notion of communication in the plant world has long been considered marginal, yet I remain convinced that some plants do indeed transmit chemical signals in the event of attack. A study report by Martin Hamish. Aha! Uh -huh. Evidence required. I guess that I will uh, find another cylinder somewhere. Table for experiments. This is a table for experiments. It resembles my own. Only this one is kept in good order, Holmes. Oh, that's it? We don't do anything with it? Okay. So I need to fetch a Toby, I think. Should I go and look into the seeds garden and other sections of garden? Or should I fetch Toby first? Well, I'm here, so I will go and explore if I can. I'm not sure that I can open all doors. No, sorry. Ooh. Are you growing, my dear friends? Are you all okay? Plant These nursery. young plants must be delicate if they are kept in the nursery. Uh huh. They are new friends. They're young friends. And they will grow into old friends. Diplomas. An award presented to Martin Hamish for. Best Grower of the Year. Another a Master's diploma? Degree Diploma. It belongs to Martin Hamish. He's a smart man. It seems... Work Desk. Martin Hamish's book. A thesis. Written by Martin Hamish. Glasses case? A glasses case. It is empty. This area serves as Martin Hamish's office. Well, there is one drawer. That is open. I wonder what was in there. A window. I can open the window. We can see the interior of the colonial collection room from this window. Does it have any purpose? I mean, he should have seen something, right? Posters. This poster is for an exhibition that Martin Hamish was directing. But it had nothing to do with Kew Gardens. Certificate? This certificate belongs to Martin Hamish. He won a horticultural competition. So what, he curated the multiple gardens? Oh wait, there, there, there was a door. It I almost missed. Bo bust. It is a bust of Montague Dunn. Where am I? Is it chipped? All oh, right, yes, it's shipped. I am curious if the marble that we found will fit this place. Looks like it. Here it is. The marble fragment that we found in the colonial collection room is what they have in common. Oh, this is the seeds. Garden, right? New the seeds. seeds of plant species are stored here. What's and move? Move away! Why are you so annoying? 
I have to run away just because you don't want to move? Go away! Yeah, there's, there was nothing here anyway, but still. Your behavior is very annoying. Where am I now? This was the... The nursery. Oh. Where is the seed house? This is the seed house. Open. Oh, hello, Margaret White. Good day to you, miss. You have some very beautiful plants here. Why, thank you, sir. And good day to you, too. But... Oh, I, I do beg your pardon. My name is Dr. John Watson. This is my good friend, Mr. Sherlock Holmes. I am honoured to make your acquaintance, gentlemen. My name is Margaret White. Excuse me, but are you Sherlock Holmes, the great detective? Yes, I am he. What a pleasure to see you here at Kew Gardens. Are you working on a case? Expensive perfume. Her mannerism, like, um, doesn't sound right to me, but maybe she's a good person, I don't know. Oh, <gasps> What happened to your hands? Lagra poor family. Oh, I thought that, that those were chemical something and unmarried. Well, we know that already. Theft of plants. Yes, a theft of plants that took place here a few days ago after their most recent exhibition. Oh, oh yes, of course. I quite forgot about that. How could you? The incident. Oh, it's quite understandable that you might forget about the theft of the plants, miss, after the tragedy that took place here. Yes, the director was a truly good man. It is such a terrible misfortune. How did you get in? Most of the doors in Kew Gardens are locked. Do you have a key to this room? Oh, yes. <laughs> Albert gave me a set of duplicate keys. He agreed I might carry out my studies without disturbing him. It is only temporary. Emptied colonial collection? Would you happen to know why part of the colonial collection was cleared? No, I have never been there. Do you work here? Do you work here? Part-time only. I am a biology student at the London University. I attend the same classes as the son of Mr. Montague Dunn. That is how I found my chance to work here for part of my thesis, you see. It is a great honour. Relationship with the director? How well did you know Mr. Montague Dunn? He was a master, a great leader. I saw him almost as a spiritual father. He had an exceptional nature? Oh yes, indeed. He was always so active and so optimistic and very nice to me. Although he could behave harshly towards his son. Why so? He loved his son dearly and wanted the very best for him. It made him extremely demanding. Albert, who is naturally shy, suffered because of it. Okay. The Divine Syndicate. The Divine Syndicate. Does that name mean anything to you, by any chance? Not at all. But it is a very pretty name. Uh, thank you, miss. None of the three people who work at Kew Gardens know why half of the colonial collection was cleared. So, someone is lying. It is obvious. I agree. Maybe all of them are lying. Maybe they all agree From to here, do it. We are unable to see the interior of the colonial collection room. Miss Margaret White is a beautiful young lady who appears moderately wealthy. Nevertheless, her hands can be seen to be marked by tiny brown dots. These were caused by pellagra, a condition that emerges after a prolonged period of malnutrition. It revealed that her childhood was a poor and unhappy one. However, the signs of wealth that we see now clearly indicate a significant change in her life. Who's this? Will be met in current case. I wonder who will who we will meet. That's a man. Work desk. Study book. materials for college study. They belong to Albert. Uh navigation. A book, book about ships. Nothing at all to do with plants. I think that this is Albert's desk. Gloves. These leather gloves are new and of good quality. 
they do not appear to have been used. This place serves as Albert's office. Plants, pots, another window. This is your rock place, right? Can we explore, investigate it? I don't think so. Oh, this are seeds. More seeds, but nothing for us to investigate. Where is the map? So I've been to seed house, to nursery, to palm house, to colonial collection, to the office house, to the greenhouse and to dry tropics. I guess that I explored kind of this whole garden already. So what I need to do? I need to talk to, the, to Albert. I need to talk to Martin. I need to search archives and I need to talk to someone. Maybe Martin, maybe Albert. But I need to bring Toby to the laboratory. Kew Gardens. Mr. Hamish, was someone from your family connected with Kew Gardens? Family? No. I'm the only one with a passion for botany. Photogra photograph with father. I do not think so. This photograph of you and your father at Kew Gardens suggests the opposite. <sighs> But you have no right to. Do tell us more about your father. He was, indeed, the greatest botanist of his time in the British Empire. He worked together with Montague Dunn until the end of his life. He brought me in at the age of twelve. Did he get on well with Mr. Dunn? No, oh, I couldn't say that. They expanded Kew Gardens together, that was all. And it was all my father's work. For Dunn always lived the high life. So Mr. Dunn was not helping your father? Oh, yes, he provided the financial support. And as far as he was concerned, that fulfilled his role. But the worst of it was, he declared himself as the master of Kew Gardens. Fame meant nothing to my father. So it was easy for Mr. Dunn to take all the credit. The bust? There is a bust of Montague Dunn in the nursery. A bust? Oh, that old thing. Further proof of that outrageous ego of his. But why in that room, in particular? Oh, I, I don't know. It, it has always been there. A fragment from a statue? It is strange, because I recovered a fragment of the bust inside the colonial collection room. Really? Oh, well, so I am mistaken. It ought to have been removed during the clean-up. This room is so small. Hmm. Do you know who moved it? I have no idea. Surely Mr. Dunn requested it. Do you have any more questions like this? Because fragments of rock are not my responsibility. Evidently. Thank you, Mr. Hamish. We shall continue our investigation. So no one likes anyone in this um, case, except for everyone likes Miss White. But I don't think that she, does, that she likes anyone. Maybe Albert? Dream of entering the Navy. I perceive that you are passionate about the Royal Navy. Passionate? No, not really. I like ships, that is all. Are you quite sure? You do not seem to be so interested in plants. It's difficult, that's all. My future is here. It has never been about anything else. You are lying, and we know that. Albert's hope. And yet, I know that the Royal Naval College rejected your application. Ah, oh, you truly are as clever as they say. Yes, that's correct. And in fact, my father was strongly against the idea. He did his best to ruin my plans, although I almost did succeed. But my dreams were shattered, Mr. Holmes. Thank you, young man. We shall see you again soon. Oh, I have so many clues now. Albert's humiliation. Amber's ab ambition? Albert's motive. Albert had a motive to kill his father, Montague Dunn. Dunn has thwarted Albert's dream of joining the Royal Navy. 
By killing his father, Albert could have his revenge and eventually succeed in his father's place as the director of Kew Gardens. But why would he stay at the Kew Gardens if he wanted to go to Navy? Mm, I think that uh, if he killed, he would have uh, dismissed himself from the Kew Gardens completely. Miss White's family... Mm, white and done. White situation. Margaret's white studies and social situation were completely dependent upon Montague Dunn's wealth, which I personally don't like. Um, the new director. Mm, Hamish Anger. Hamish mo Hamish's motive. Martin Hamish had a motive. He believed that he and his father's lives had been ruined by Dunn, who had taken the credit for all of their work. Hamish wished to take over the directorship of Kew Gardens, but he knew that would not be possible with Dan still alive. What else? White studies? Um, poisoning? Deadly plan stolen? Albert's ambition? No. I think that I have no more connections here. And now it's time to bring Toby. Toby, my friend. I have some job for you. Come on, Toby. We have some work for you to do. Let us go to Kew Gardens. Let us take Toby to the laboratory. He will pick up the scent of this mysterious substance. Search, Toby. Search. Okay. There is a door. Maybe I should run. Yeah, but I remember that my legs are quite short, so I cannot run very fast. Hello, Mr. Hamish. Where are we going? Huh? Hidden place. What's this? Congratulations, Toby. Now let us see what you have found. A bottle? It's a bottle? This is the bottle that was used in the laboratory. It was buried here. Chemical solution? There is still some liquid remaining in the bottle, with gold flakes. A tiny caterpillar. Not surprising to see one in a garden, but at the bottom of a bottle. I would agree. So I think that we need to examine this... Um at our laboratory, or do you want to talk to someone about this first? No, you, you want to perform analysis. Okay, let's go home then. Oh, first I need to research. Search the case of June 14th, 1889. I think that this would be newspapers. Scandal at the Divine Syndicate. The Divine Syndicate Club, followers of the Gold King Trowan, situated on the 48 Gross Savannah Street, Carlton Road, protector of plants and more particularly trees, are currently the subject of an administrati admin administrative investigation. The leaders of this organization are suspected of financial um, mal -thea Malfeasance, malfeasance? It may be that this investigation will lead to charges of a judiciary. I think that that man that we will meet is from uh, the Divine Syndicate. I didn't think about it. How do you pronounce this word? Judiciary? Judi judiciary? While I'm here, I also can look up the malfeasance, because I'm not sure that this is how you pronounce that either. Malfeasance. Oh no, that was correct. Malfeasance. Judiciary. Judiciary. Meanwhile, many voices have risen high against this inspection, denouncing the state. In fact, this private organization, which has given as its goal the defense and protection of nature, and which incorporates many persons of influence, including political representatives of the opposition party. Someone was talking about something political in the letters that I have found before. 
I want to rem I want to try and remember who was talking about political things. I think that was uh, Hamish. Here it is, and here is the Divine Syndicate's address. Perfect. It is time to find out what they have against Montague Dunn. I will go there, but first let me analyze what I have found. Let us determine just what we have found here. Let us pour liquid from the bottle into a test tube to perform an analysis. This Let's is the bottle that we this. found hidden at Kew Gardens. Let us use a pipette to take a sample of the liquid and fill a test tube. I always forget about the pipette. Mm. Oh, you're going to do that yourself? Okay. So, what else? What are we going to do now? Ah, we're going to heat it up, probably. Um, because I don't see anything else that you can do it here, right? So I can take it. And what? Uh, examine? A colorless, water-based liquid. Inhale! Quite a strong floral aroma. You can get killed like that. Taste? Holmes? Okay. What are you doing? It has a bitter taste. What if it's poisonous? Did you ever see poison stored in enormous jars like that? Anyway, there is a doctor nearby. So what do you think it is? It is some kind of organic compound. Let us vaporize the liquid and see what happens. Sherlock is so careless. Activate. Let's see. Mm. Small colorless crystals. Colorless, tiny crystals that are soluble in water, with a floral smell and a bitter taste. Watson, could you pass me that small bottle, please? Of course. Here you are. Uh, Holmes, do you know what it is? Wagner's reagent. There was a label on the bottle that you passed to me. No, Holmes, I meant the bottle that we found. Let me add the reagent and see if there is any sediment, and then I shall tell you. Do I, do I use pipette? Hey, I learned something. <laughs> oh, it's red. Red sediment, just as I suspected. Oh, really? This liquid is of organic origin. It contains some alkaloid. Most likely it is unstable, and that is why there is a quantity of gold dust to prevent contamination. This mixture is probably a fertilizer. Someone was carrying out unusual experiments in the garden's laboratory. So you just drank fertilizer. Awesome. Let's visit the Divine Syndicate. I'm curious about this syndicate. This place is beautiful, Holmes. Its atmosphere is remarkably soothing. Let us find someone who could help us. This is beautiful. I very much didn't expect this. I thought it would be something very, very boring. This is amazing. Oh, the tree, the tree with the, the, the statue with the tree. <laughs> the, the tree man, the man tree. That's beautiful. Can I? What and where? I don't see anything. Can I? No, I cannot do anything with this. T. I press T and audience. Oh, it's it's rather far away. Broken pieces. Uh, examine something hidden. Fragments of a flower pot. It fell down here. Oh, some will please move. Pot a please. fragment of a flower pot. And something hidden. Flower pot. Quite a few of them. <gasps> Q Royal Botanical Gardens. The Q Gardens symbol. We found a connection. Can I go inside, please? Locked. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. I love guns. Uh, well, I saw that man, so let's probably talk to him. 
Watson, what are you doing here? Join me. Well, hello. Guru. Good day to you, sir. My name is Shul... I am exalting the sap. A while can you wait? From the trace of elements and moreover, from the quality of the ambient geotropism it depends. Therefore, the please, please, mind my gravitropism. Its balance. Do not disturb. Disturbed is most definitely the word. Relax, Watson. Don't be judgmental. is the symbiosis. Welcome you are. To introduce myself, I shall. I am the Green Grand Mystic. The... The Green Grand Mystic himself. This is me. Who am I speaking to? We are two gentlemen who are extremely interested in the uh, vegetation philosophy that is advocated by this establishment. Listening to you, I am. I like your tattoos. Tattoo. Yes, I know. I thought that maybe you would tell something about the statues, but you are not telling anything. Hands, fingertip, colossus. Okay. What else? Well, I'm injury, acid burn, chemical practice. Awesome. Uh, look around. We should like to take a look around to immerse ourselves in the wisdom that emanates from here. Hmm. It is a school of anastomosis. The Divine Scholastic Syndicate for Vegetation Veneration and Meditation. You may say, the Divine Syndicate. Glory to the Eukaryotic. Only true devotees, those whose hearts are ready to spermatophize in sharing of knowledge, are permitted to physically enter our vegetable kingdom and its wisdom. And to be permitted, you must earn it. Yes. Do you know the Q Gardens? Do you have friends at Q Gardens? None. Not worthy there. <laughs> I mean, like, he, he, he's not telling that... Uh, mm, like, you ask about friends, and I'm pretty sure that he doesn't have friends there. Because, like, he's, he's telling that not worthy they are. Maybe they, he had enemies there, you know? A symbol on a broken pot. What? That was it. There was a symbol on a broken pot. Do you pot. have friends at Kew Gardens? I saw the symbol on the broken pot. What? Or maybe this Kew Gardens symbol. Nevertheless, we have seen Kew Gardens flower pots in your yard. How could they happen to be there? What? Our sacred place you permitted yourself to search. Sacrilege. No, oh, really now. There was a theft of plants at Kew Gardens a matter of days ago. And we believe the pots we found here may be connected with it. Please tell us, were you involved? No. Those plants were ours. They had stolen them from us. How so? Uh, their director. Dump, I believe. Done. Yes, that's, that's what I said. He borrowed from us three of our sisters for the exhibition at his green fly infested gardens. But he never gave them back to us. Excuses and imbecility. So we went in and saved them. I see. So if you stole those rare plants from them, then it means... Ah, I get it. Bravo, Holmes. I think the case is solved. No, we did not steal. We saved. Well, as a matter of fact, we were unable to find our three plants. <gasps> I beg your pardon. Welcome. And yet you took all of the exotic plants from the stand. They had disappeared. It was the least we could do. They stole our sisters, and so we stole theirs. I mean, that's fair. Ready ready for what? Green Grand Mystic. Oh, we please. are ready to become devotees and gain access to your temple. Like hell, he will believe. What is the name him. of our Lord, our God King? Uh, Truan the God King. Our God King's name is Triwan. Green Grand Three one. Mystic. Okay. Oh la! Good, good. I like you. Here is the holy key to the wisdom place. Holy donation, can you make whenever you so wish? Thank Aren't you, you so too much. easy? I pray you to taste our fertilizer substance. From the burdens of life, it helps to free. 
He tasted the door of Indian. Not time to worry. <laughs> it is cold. It is near the entrance. He tasted that already. Don't worry about well, him. Well, we will leave you to your meditation. Yes, yeah, so wh where, where is this sap? Is it the same thing that he just tasted? Or is this something different? Where was it? We told it was near the entrance. Mm. Where? 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 Oh, maybe inside the building. Oh, there is another person there. Right, let's uh, first see what we can say about this man. The Green Grand Mystic himself is a strange character. He has a Chinese tattoo. He looks Chinese too. There is a particular scar on the palm on his left hand, an injury that occurs if one uses unnecessary force with a chemical pipette. He has practiced chemistry, which requires a Cartesian mindset. Cartesian. Cartesian. Well, where is the sap? I really, I really wanted to try it. Hmm. I'm disappointed. Benefactors, Lord Shebrook, Mr. Mackenzie, Mr. Stapleton, Mrs. Spencer, Spencer, Mrs. Leith, Mr. Stubb, Mrs. Alton, Alton. Mm. The list of plant friends and benefactors, lawyers, well known manufacturers, political leaders. I thought that maybe I would have met a familiar surname there. Hello, dear friend, Adapt. You came to make a donation? Glory to Tree One! Ah. Uh, isn't it amazing? This must be Tree One, the Divine Syndicate's god. Very handsome, too. Oh, the incense sticks. Drug stable. That should be the raw sap that the Green Grand Mystic spoke of. How do I take it? How do I taste it? What do I do with it? Spoon. Hmm. It is rather delicious and of an excellent quality. My word, Holmes. Their sap is like a form of cocaine. So was this a cocaine? Or was this the fertilizer that we tried before? Edward. Cage. There is a cage. Can I open it? Yes. Another cage door. Cage with caterpillars. Hello, little friend. Caterpillars. They are raised as food for certain plants. Let's take them. All of them? Come on, this plant will die. Oh, no, they were feeding on this plant. Another cage. Uh, Dionia marsipula. A tropical plant. Nothing of interest. Rafflesia arnoldi. A tropical plant. Nothing of interest. Isn't it funny how I still remember Rafflesia arnoldi from my botanical classes? The school. It was a long time ago. A tropical plant. Nothing of interest. Alisma gigantica. A tropical plant. Nothing of interest. Will we meet something of interest? Flower cage. Oh, <gasps> Florum diabolica. These three plants are identical to the ones shown at the exhibition. I shall take them. You have no shame. Co Sherlock. Oh, pfft. Listen, I'm embarrassed for you. How could... How could you? If these are sisters, these are friends. Yeah, can you just take them? This door is locked. But I can try to open it. And Adept is not minding, does it all? Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Well, this part moves too. No, th that's not it. No. 
No. Mm. Looks about right, maybe. But now this one is incorrect. I think it will go like so. Mm -hmm. mm. No, not this one. And not this one either. Mm. They're getting more and more difficult with each time. But I mean, it's fair enough because this door leads to something very important and dark and mysterious. I shall love this kind of things. A plate for opium smoke. These instruments are used for smoking opium. Opium bowls. A vast amount of opium. Are you envious, Sherlock? Admit it. Table for experiments. That would be enough to perform the most difficult of chemical experiments. Chemistry cupboard. Chemistry bottle. This substance is an alkaloid, the same as in the bottle we found in the bushes at Kew Gardens. What else? This cabinet is full of chemicals. They are the same as the ones we found in the laboratory at Kew Gardens. So someone secretly has been a um, devotee of a tree man. Tree when? What's the name of that king god? I don't see anything else here. Suspicious ingredients. Um, white studies? No. Uh, poisoning. Sets up the experiment. Sets up the alkaloid from a chemical laboratory and the caterpillars and perform the experiment with the deadly plants. Sherlock really wants to kill himself. Divine syndicate thieves. Um, deadly plants stolen. Sect stole everything. The divine syndicate stole all plants from the exhibition, including the deadly species. They could have been used in order to murder Montague Dunn. The Divine Syndicate stole all but the deadly plants from the exhibition, but we saw the deadly plants in this uh, Divine Syndicate building, so I'm not sure. Let's assume that they stole everything. Well, I'm not going to assume who killed Dunn ye quite yet. It's too early to think about it. Missing deadly plants. White studies, Albert's ambition, no. White studies, okay. So I think that I don't have anything to collect anymore. Perfect, Watson. We can begin our experiment. I don't think that Watson will be too happy about it. He's also not here. But um, where will will we make this experiment? At uh, the at at our uh, at our laboratory. At home? I, I think so. What, son? Come on! This green, grand, mystic fellow seems rather suspicious, Holmes. That's what why... should we do next, Holmes? That's why I decided to join him. I imagine that one of these plants would be capable of releasing a toxic vapor. I need to find out exactly how it could be done. I shall begin now. Watson, if you are at all optimistic to have dinner this evening, then I'd recommend that you put on the gas mask. Um... Okay, so how do we do it? We have a pin, we have a liquid with alkaloid, we have a pipette. We don't have pipette this time. We have cut a peel and we... So how do we do and in, 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 in what sequence? Let's take a cut a peel. Put it in Carlina in a braid. How interesting. What a strong and effective defensive mechanism. It was fun. But what do I do with the liquid with alkaloid? Oh. This plant becomes inactive after being drenched with alkaloid. Let's, um... Uh... Try caterpillars on this plant now. Dionea carnivorous. I find the behavior of predators utterly fascinating. 
What about al alkaloid? Oh. This plant becomes inactive after being drenched with alkaloid. And this plant, Florum diabolica. What about alkaloid? Oh, this one it opens. appears to open after being soaked with alkaloid. Can I put a caterpillar inside now? Oh. oh, it closed again. I believe I saw a small cloud of gas. I uh, wonder what secrets this plant is hiding. Perhaps if we agitate it to a greater extent whilst it is opened, it will reveal a little more. I am interested in what might occur if the prickly plant should shoot at it. Mm, let's move this, swap this plant with this plant. And, uh, no, I need to go to this plant in the middle. Right, so now what next? I put caterpillar on this plant. Well, it didn't affect this plant, so I did something wrong. I can only swap. How can I put them closer to each other? This plant seems to have had no reaction from the caterpillars. What if I put caterpillars on this plant? No. Mm. I'm confused here. Can I put caterpillar on this plant? Right? No! I find the behavior of predators utterly fascinating. I got confused. Yes, it gave out Toxic gases. Toxic gas with spores. Extraordinary. The plants would be capable of killing only if they were directly next to the victim and stimulated at precisely the right moment. Let us take our caterpillars to the colonial collection room. We may see things more clearly there. It is too early, Watson. Our suspects will be there. Let us investigate Kew Gardens one more time and ask some questions. But I think that victim uh, should have been uh, on friendly terms with someone. If uh, could be killed like this, mm, may maybe not. You, like you probably could uh, have set a trap for him with the plants. Okay, let's go and talk to everyone. What about the green grand mystic, mystic, before Dan's death? Can you tell me if you saw Mr. Montague Dunn on the day of his death? Yes, of course. I met him, and we went to see Albert, his son, at around half past nine. He appeared quite calm. Your activity at that morning? What were you doing on the morning of the accident? After paying multiple visits to Albert, I had a little talk with Miss White. Then I returned to my desk to complete some paperwork. Suddenly I observed that Mr. Dunn was not feeling well, so I ran immediately to fetch Albert. I clearly remember that it was around half past ten, for I was late that morning. Let's talk to the sun now. Is he still in here? Right. Day of Dan's death. Your father's death does seem highly suspicious. What were your movements here on that day? Suspicious? Well, I was working in the seed house, taking care of a uh, lice, but something, or, or Lear, Pontus, or... No, wait. Ah, oh, these Latin names. And I spent so many hours trying to memorize them. Did you see your father that day? Yes. He came here with Mr. Hamish for his weekly visit. There was nothing unusual about that. And then? Nothing. They stepped out to the backyard. It was perhaps twenty minutes before ten o'clock. Then about ten minutes later I saw my father heading for the dry tropics room while Mr. Hamish returned here. Other people's activity? And Mr. Hamish and Miss White. What were they both doing that morning? Mr. Hamish visited me a couple of times. I also saw him returning from talking with Miss White. And that was at ten minutes past ten. 
But then he ran back here to me to tell me that my father was feeling unwell. We hurried across to the water lily room and I found my father lying dead on the floor. Oh my God. Why did you think that it was a heart attack? And it was obviously that it wasn't a heart attack. Or maybe it wasn't obvious. Now this is no, so we miss why it is in the seed house. I think that this is faster way to the seed house. You honest, I'm not sure. The day of their death. Can you tell me what Mr. Dunn was doing upon the day of his death? I can. But there is nothing very special to say. I was in the laboratory when I saw Mr. Dunn heading towards me. Tuesday is the day of his weekly visit. It was supposed to be at nine, but he was ten minutes late, as usual. And then? Well, he came in to say good morning. Then I saw him spend two or three minutes by the plants outside the laboratory. After that, he ran out in the direction of the nursery, where Mr. Hamish was working. He was always in a rush during the inspection, you see. I would pity anyone who stood in his way. The time of death? And that was the last time you saw him? Yes. I stayed in the laboratory until twenty minutes to eleven, when I heard the cries of Albert and Mr. Hamish from the large glass house. I joined them as soon as I could, for I knew that something must be very wrong. What exactly were you doing in the laboratory? I was recording an experiment for my thesis. I only stopped my work once when Mr. Hamish visited me briefly around ten o'clock. Your records? But you say you were recording an experiment when the tragedy occurred. Might I listen to the role? Oh, certainly. Please do. You will find it in the laboratory. It is number 320. Uh, thank you, miss. Sometime later. Everyone has gone, Holmes. The way is clear. Mm, okay. So how do we do it? Do we use our imagination or... I think that uh, we have to use our imagination because there is nothing else. Oh, ventilation grid. This is one of the outlets of the ventilation system. I didn't notice this before. Okay, so inhaling the spores. Then um, escape in the room. And what else? I see nothing else. Oh, I need to click watch sequence, right? Ah, I forgot about the ventilation. No, I don't think that this was correct. When Montague died, oh, no, was was. standing close by the plants, the caterpillars were released and caused the deadly spores to activate. Panicking and likely already half asphyxiated, Montague Dunn started back and knocked over the bust. He rushed to the door, but it was locked. He had to force it open with his shoulder. We already know the outcome. Montague Dunn collapsed and died not far from the pool. Well, it is time to perform our experiments on the ventilation system. Place caterpillars. The caterpillars could only fall from the ventilation duct. Our caterpillars are in place. I'll activate the ventilation system so that they fall down. Watson, stay here and observe. All right, Holmes. Well, there is nothing for me to do at this moment, so I guess that I need to go and activate the ventilation system if only I could remember where it was well it's not here so I went the wrong way all right so I see the ventilation system under it hmm. it goes over here to this building to the nursery and then it continues oh so we have more ventilation options for this part too for this building too do i do, should i open this window we can now? see the interior of the colonial collection room from this window 
So I I can see Watson. So someone who was it? Hamish could see. Yes, he could see, and he told that he could see that um, uh, Montague was feeling unwell. So that's fair enough. Okay, it continues here. Uh, through this room. Through this room, I... So here is another. From here, we are unable to see the interior of the colonial collection room. Yes, we are unable, but... The, uh, what are these uh, levers? He's not talking about them, and I cannot do anything with them. But I have found... Well, I found this a while ago. But this is the ventilation system. Start. Let's see. Oh, transmission. I think that I need to turn it on, right? It's on right now. Power switch on. The power is on. Let's start. The engine cannot be started whilst the transmission is active. And you turn it off? The engine has started. Okay, so what do I do now? The ventilation system is working. Isn't it awesome? But I will be honest, I, I don't understand what the, with this transmission. I think I misunderstood this part, but it's okay. Control lever. Excellent. This ventilation fan is working. Let us see if I can activate the other one. Mm-hmm. Where is it? This is the next one, right? Perfect. Now I just need to find Watson to check the result. What? It works perfectly, Holmes. Bravo. Now if you could just help me to get rid of these <laughs> caterpillars. Perfect. Now we know how the murder of Montague Dunn was carried out. By activating both Albert's and Mr. Hamish's fans. But only from Mr. Hamish's workplace would it be possible to see when Montague Dunn entered the colonial collection room. So, do we think that it was Hamish? White studies. Um, uh, wait, I... I wanted to check another cylinder for phonogram, maybe... Sherlock, what are you doing? Where was it? Ah, uh, it wasn't here. I think it was here? So, it's not here. Because she was talking about a 322 cylinder, it, it, it's not here. So where can I find it? Oh, door open. This is where I can find it probably. Here it is. Yes, this is the one. Cylinder records. So we are only interested in one. We are not going to listen to any more. Move those. We are... Okay, let's listen. Classified as shrubs or grasses, have adapted to their arid environment due to a system of underground roots. This recording seems very long. It is unnecessary to listen to all of it. Miss White was in the laboratory, as she told us. But uh, are there like time stamps, stamps or something? How can you prove that it was in a, is in a, an exact an exact date time? I don't know. I think that's the only thing that is left for me to decide who killed him. Uh, yes, I think so. So, Albert's ambition, uh, deadly precision. Albert's lack of experience. Albert is not very good at botany. It is doubtful that he could have learned how the plants might release their deadly spores. Albert had the biological knowledge to stimulate the deadly plants. He could have pretended that he doesn't know anything about those plants, but he is really more interested, like at least it seems so, that he's more interested in shipbuilding than in anything else. Let's say it's lack of experience. I just remembered so that uh, there was building something, and I don't remember where that was and what was burning, so I want to try and remember. I think it was here. Yes, and uh, yeah, so some plants uh, were burning here, and this is where I found the Divine Syndicate emblem, I think. Okay, White Studies, Deadly Precision, 
White's lack of experience, the knowledge Miss White acquired at the university might not be enough to guarantee the correct reaction of the deadly plants. White's knowledge, Miss White had the biological knowledge to stimulate the deadly plants. I have no idea, maybe? Ventilation used, deadly precision. Hamish's opportunity, Martin Hamish had the opportunity to stimulate the deadly plants in the colonial collection room. As a biologist, he would have understood the technicality of how to do this. I think so. And deadly precision and missing deadly plants. Sect scheme, the Divine Syndicate left the plants at Kew Gardens in order to murder Montague Dunn at a later date. Sect not involved, someone stole the deadly plants before the Divine Syndicate were able to. Symbol on a broken pot, the symbol on a broken flower pot found in the backyard. The symbol is not from Kew Gardens, this cliff means divine if not mistaken, so Syndicate definitely was here, so we cannot dismiss them, but I mean, they were here, they admitted that they were here. Oh, I don't know. Well, I don't think that this is Miss White. I don't think that this is Albert. I mean, I think that th this is Hamish. Sex is not involved. Sex stole uh, only part of it. Even though White, Miss White, have necessary knowledge, I don't think that she killed him. I think that this is uh, Martin Hamish. Hamish is guilty. Martin Hamish could be the killer. He had the opportunity to steal the Divine Syndicate's plans and stimulate them from his workplace directly after he had locked Montague down inside the colonial collection room. Arrest Martin Hamish? Let's, let's do. Oh, so I need to actually go and talk to him. Let's go to Scotland Yard. Oh, we are going to Scotland Yard. Hello, friends. Hello, people. Hello, constable. Hello, Lestrade. Inspector, I believe that Martin Hamish is guilty of the murder of Montague Dunn. Aha! I knew it. I'll send the lads around to arrest him. You didn't... Very good. I shall wait to hear from you. You didn't even know that uh, he was killed. So am I right or am I wrong? Inspector, I came here as quickly as I could. Martin Hamish is in the large glass house. There's no need to hurry. Why? What happened? You, s did you, sound you sounded just now very strange. Is he dead or something? <gasps> Holmes, my God! Yes, yes. he died! I found him. Oh, no. Our messing around with the ventilation system didn't go unnoticed. Mr. Hamish realized that we knew. Inspector, could you arrange the body, please? I should like to examine it. No. Why? This is so sad. Martin Hamish's letter. Life has become a living hell. I find it unbearable. Don deserved to die, but I cannot forgive myself for having his blood upon my hands. We Hamishers seem to have always been fallen victims to our circumstance, and I find myself to be no exception. I must atone, and I shall do so here and now. Oh, I hate it. The mark around the neck is very visible. He died instantly. Martin Hamish's feet. Maybe he was killed by someone. I do hope so, because I hate Holmes, it. Holmes, his left shoe is unique. This anomaly is often a characteristic of... A club foot. Bravo, Watson. That is the key element of this case. Ah, uh, Club foot. The worn down double heel of his left shoe revealed that Martin Hamish suffered from a club foot and tibial torsion. What does it even mean? Oh, club foot is where a baby is born with a foot or feet that turn in and under. But he's an adult, I guess, that uh, he didn't uh, receive proper treatment. I'm not sure if uh, it can be healed. And tibial torsion. Tibial torsion is the twisting of a child's shin bone 
also known as the tibia. In most cases, tibial torsion causes a toddler's legs and the feet to turn inward, giving them a pigeon toed appearance. Okay, so you are telling me that there is no way that who that he could have killed himself. Is that what you're telling me or no? Ah, Hamish acted alone. That was I thought too that he was in cahoots with Mrs. with Miss White. I I did I did had I did have this thought before. Mart Hamish was unable to run due to the tibial torsion on his club foot. Therefore, we should find out if he had sufficient time to lock the door of the colonial collection room and activate the ventilation system. Did he have an accomplice? Or maybe that was Albert? Who was closer? I think that Miss White was closer, but then she was recording but then it doesn't mean necessarily mean that she was recording at that exact time. This is also curious. Talk to Lestrade. Discuss with Lestrade the possible impact of new clues found on the body of Martin Hamish. I thought that this case was complete, but it continues. Something about this rings very oddly. Why do you say that, Mr. Holmes? Why? Because of Mr. Hamish's club foot. Oh, I deserve to be kicked from here to Charing Cross. I should have noticed it. But, Mr. Holmes, I can't see why. No, I don't suppose you do. You must recall that Mr. Dunn was locked inside the colonial collection room by the murderer. If it was Mr. Hamish, he would have had to run up to his workplace to trigger the fan situated above it, taking into consideration the condition of his foot. Well, it is still possible. Perhaps, but it is rather strange that such a person as Mr. Hamish decided to base his plan on the speed of his gait. You mean to say that somebody helped him? So the suicide is questionable? Correct. Mr. Hamish accuses only himself in his letter, and so the investigation stops. Possibly an accomplice, then? That idea had not occurred to me, Mr. Holmes. I have another idea, Inspector. Thanks to the testimony that we have collected, we are able to rebuild the events as they took place that day. With a timeline, such as we did in the Jack the Ripper case. Precisely. The map at the entrance of Kew Gardens should help us with our timeline. Let us analyze the facts and statements so that we may recreate the events of that morning. Martin Hamish and Montague Dunn went to meet... Albert in the seat house at around half past nine. Half past nine. Albert meets Montague Dunn and Martin Hamish at the seat house. It was around 20 minutes to 10 when Hamish and Montague Dunn went out to the backyard. After 10 minutes, Dunn recommenced his inspection and entered the dry tropics room. Hamish returned to the seat house. Hamish and... Montague Dunn, go into the backyard over here, right? After 10 minutes, Dunn recommenced his inspection and entered the dry tropics room after 10 minutes over here. And Hamish returned to the seat house 10 minutes later too, I suppose. Martin Hamish had a conversation with Miss White at 10 o'clock. Miss White was in the laboratory until 10.40 when she saw Hamish and Albert in the water lily greenhouse and joined them there. Miss White is talking with Martin Hamish in the laboratory at 10 o'clock. 10.40 They all met together. Hamish ran to Albert as soon as he observed the Montague Dunn was unwell, which was at around 10.30. Hamish, 10.30. Albert saw Hamish returning from visiting Miss White at 10 past 10, around... So it should be here. Martin Hamish returns after talking with Miss White. Montague Dunn was poisoned. It was about 10.30, right? 
I think that this should be in one line uh, as to map. Do I place them or no, I don't do anything here. Mm, let's play events, I'm not sure. Let us summarize. Montague Dunn was poisoned inside the colonial collection room. He forced open the door, which means that someone locked him inside there at 10.20. Martin Hamish was last seen at 10.10. This means that he has approximately 10 minutes to lock the door of the colonial collection room. Given that he was club-footed, it is doubtful. Albert also has 10 minutes to lock the door of the colonial collection room, which is quite enough time. Miss White was last seen at 10 o'clock, which means that she had approximately 20 minutes to lock the door. More than enough time. Perfect, Watson. Now, let us ascertain who assisted Martin Hamish in killing Montague Dunn. Albert's timeline. Albert, Albert was alone in the seat house after Montague Dunn had entered the large glass house. Since Dunn showed signs of poison at 1020, Albert had approximately 10 minutes to act without being observed. White timeline. Miss White stayed alone in the laboratory after speaking with Martin. Since Montague Dunn showed signs of poison at 1020, White had approximately 20 minutes to act without being observed. Hamish, Martin Hamish might not have had enough time to do it all by himself. It would have been difficult to stimulate the deadly spores and lock the door in just 10 minutes without being observed. I don't know, for some reason I think it's Albert. Albert is not involved. Um, Martin Hamish and Albert are not accomplices. It is unlikely that Albert would have had the opportunity and 10 minutes would have not been enough to lock the door of the colonial collection room. Wait, I need to check the, the map again. So this is the Albert. Oh yes, it's long way enough to the colonial collection room. Maybe it was Miss White after all. Well, logically it should be Miss White. Hamish's timeline, White's timeline. I. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Miss mm. White had 20 minutes. It would have been enough to trap Montague down. She could have locked the door and alerted Martin Hamish to activate the ventilation system. I think that's her. White is an accomplice. Margaret White was Martin Hamish's accomplice in killing Montague down. But then maybe Albert was an accomplice. Maybe the all three agreed to kill him. Your professional ambition and personal situation had been damaged by the breakup with Donna. Condemned Miss White. Miss White is a dangerous woman, very capable of carrying out an elaborate murder for monetary gain. She flirted with Don's son Albert and later pushed Martin Hamish to, the, to his suicide. She deserves the rope. Miss White is a desperate woman in debt, resigned to consorting with wealthy gentlemen. When Dan cast her aside, she killed him in desperation. Hamish tried to save her. She deserves a second chance. I think I will have to condemn her because, uh, like, I don't know, she didn't have to get into that debt. Um, I don't know, I'm not sure. Also, her relationship with her family. Okay, let's condemn her. But Holmes, how can you be certain that we'll find Miss White here? It is obvious, Watson. Just use your brain. I am using it. I do use it. Now that the rope has tightened around Martin Hamish, Miss White must act to erase all traces of her implication. After the suicide of her accomplice, there is one final trace remaining, the deadly plants of the Divine Syndicate. 
She will be there. Very good. Shall we go? In just one moment. Now listen to me, Watson. I shall see her alone. You will conceal yourself behind her. Quietly. Whatever are you planning? Nothing spectacular. The impulses of women have always been a mystery to me. But she is a bold one, and so we must be cautious. All right. You can count on me, Holmes. Mr. Holmes, good day to you. You do not seem surprised, Miss White. Well, I was expecting you. Not for too long, I believe. So please tell me, as it is still unclear, who planned the murder? Was it you? You were wrong, Mr. Holmes. It was Martin Hamish, then. You managed to convince him to take on a more prominent role. <laughs> you could not be further from the truth. You think that you can fool me? You don't care what I think. It is difficult to care about someone who is capable of pushing a man to his suicide. It is over, Miss White. The police will be here any minute. Over? Perhaps. One moment you are here, and the next you are on the other side. The other side? No! Stop! I beg you not to do this, Miss White. Don't come any closer. Please remain calm. We can help you. Not one step further. Don't try to stop me. Stop this foolishness. You cannot truly want to die. No, it's too late. Well done, Watson. She was not faking. Miss White, you have no right to take your own life. Why? Dr. Watson, did you just save me? Or worse? She's going to, to get robbed, so it doesn't matter how she dies. Yes, White is an accomplice. Accept decision. Yeah. I'm upset about this. A half moon walk. This will be the next case. I think it will be the last one. Where are you going, Holmes? Have you been invited somewhere? We have been invited, Watson. We have? Where to? To the Baker Street Irregulars annual dinner. They sent us an invitation. It is on the table. A dinner? How could those street urchins afford anything like that? I can't understand your interest in them, Holmes. They're dirty. They wouldn't hesitate to steal your wallet. They... Watson, you should be excited. It is a secret dinner. Its location changes every year. Read the menu. Sounds mouth-watering. All right. We, the secret police of Baker Street, invite you, Sherlock Holmes, and Dr. Watson to our annual dinner. Menu. Entree. Frozen rat head salad. Is, is this a joke? Not at all. Pray continue. Main course, sow's udder in Danny Nutcracker's way. Ah, sounds disgusting, Holmes. Hedgehog goulash. Street turnips in homemade juice. And it goes on. Ah, I can hear them on the stairs now. Oh, we can't go there. We can't eat that. Watson, you'll hurt the feelings of those poor children. We have to go. Oh, Mr. Holmes. It is fine, Mrs. Hudson. Mr. Holmes. Wiggins, Dr. Watson is getting ready. He will be delighted to join us. You don't look well, my young man. Is there something wrong? Don't tell me the dinner is cancelled. Mr. Holmes, it's my brother, Leighton. He's in a prison cell. They say he's killed two men. You have to help us, Mr. Holmes, because I know he didn't do it. Where is he now? From what I've heard, they took him to the yard and they gave him a good beating already. You know what they're like. They'll hang him. They won't look any further. Holmes, we have to help him. Well, and forget about the dinner. Wiggins, I'll take the case. You're fantastic, Mr. Holmes. I'll be waiting for you at the crime scene. You'll be there, right? It's on Half Moon Street in Whitechapel. Very well. And that will be next time. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.